So this is kind of controversial. The, I, when I brought this up, I mean, I kind of expected people to like agree with me, but I did not get that response initially. So let's hmm. talk about it. So um, not every home is perfect. And in the digital age, a lot of spyware tools kind of trickle down until they are used by, they're, they're basically like bad exploits that aren't very good for international espionage or the kind of like stuff that you hear about in the news. So instead they become like stalkerware or <clears throat> something you could use to track your spouse or your ex or your child. So when I was on Instagram the other day, um, I was just noticing that like they have a lot of very whack ads for businesses that like are either like out and out scams or like kind of unethical. And this one is one that really freaked me out. So it says what they say, how was your day? Fine. And this child is just like not, you know, <laughs> not disclosing what they mean. How was your day? I stayed up all night on TikTok because I wasn't allowed because I couldn't sleep. And now I'm even more tired. Then after second period, I got kicked out of a group text. And oh, Bella said it was just a joke, but I'm still not back in yet. I'm worried about the summer. I forgot to do my chores and I know you're going to be upset with me, but I'm just so tired. Um, and this says, uh, parents, sometimes the only warning signs a child might be struggling with anxiety or depression are buried deep in their phones, oh boy. right in their private zones. Um, Bark scans text messages and social media posts for concerning content and sends you <laughs> alerts when something might be wrong. So oh. this is like persistent surveillance. Like basically they're like, hey, child, let's install a third party like interception service, have it constantly scanning my child's stuff, have no idea where this information is being stored, what they're doing with it, whether they're using it to build a marketing profile on my child and sell it to like Facebook or like something else that's going to like use it for nefarious reasons. Like there are so many ethical concerns here. And also, what if your child is being like abused by you? You know, this would be like a trusting relationship with your child. Yeah. Like what obviously. if, what if, like, what if your parents like are not perfect? Like I, I, I mean, my parents were not perfect and I was just imagining in my home, like if the wrong person had access to this sort of thing, it really would have made things like a lot worse. So, you know, no, some people were arguing like, oh, I need to be able to look over my child's shoulder and keep them safe on the internet. It's like, okay, maybe, but like, is like violating your child's privacy on such an intimate level that can so completely, um, is that is that going to teach them the right lessons about the world? Is that something that is actually going to like build your relationship of trust with them? Or is it just going to create a sense of betrayal? Like, you know, like it, it really is a question here because being able to deploy spyware, like professional grade spyware targeted at complete novices who are just interested in invading their child's privacy. I can also see somebody just looking at this and be like, I'll use this on my ex-girlfriend, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> So Alex, how do you feel about this sort of thing? It's creepy and I think it it doesn't really do a good job of what they're advertising it to do. Cause like, I feel like this would give me more anxiety <laughs> and I would resent my parents if they installed something like that on my phone. It's just like straight up creepy and invasive. Well, I mean, and you might not, I, like imagine for example, in, in your family, like somebody right. had installed this on your phone and was using it to figure out like if you were reaching out for help, right. if you were, you know, doing things that like might otherwise make them feel like you were like, doing something they wouldn't like like this would be a source of like interrogation or like other control <clears throat> yeah. to me it just like seems sketchy it, it it seems like the people that it's marketed at are paranoid people who don't respect their children's limits or don't see anything wrong with invading their child's privacy so for me like i have a big issue with this sort of stuff that's marketed towards people that just you know don't see this as an issue and there's no real like the the hook here is like how do we make spying on your child oops how do you make spying on your child palatable? Well, like, let's say that your child is in danger and that the only way of, for you to protect your child is to spy on them relentlessly. You know, like, that's a pretty fucking, sorry, that's a pretty, like, lame, what, like, <laughs> like, excuse for just violating someone's privacy. Because if you're just like, oh, well, maybe my girlfriend's depressed, I better spy on everything she does. Like, why? Right. You know, yeah. you ask, you ask them or you build a relationship based on trust. You don't, you don't cheat. And like just invade their privacy with like you know spyware so again you also don't know who you're plugging into your child's life so this third party service like you know are they making money on the side are you sure do they secure their stuff properly how could you even check you know it just like if you're gonna have someone start spying on your child for you you better make sure you trust that big brother because they could be invading your child's privacy in other ways maybe their employees have unfettered access to your child's phone who knows? The problem is when you have novices trying to invade people's privacy for their own benefit, you get issues because they don't know what they're installing and they're often trying to do it for nefarious reasons. So I do not like this. I think it sucks. I do not like this company. 
Um, I don't like what they're selling and I don't like who they're marketing it to. Yeah. It's always like construed as like something that's protecting said, children. Like, palatable. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's made to protect children, but you know, it's going to be abused. Exactly. And um, that moves us over very nicely to, oh wait, no, it's later. Um, but later on, we have something by uh, Eva um, at the EFF. And it's something that I think is a really good reminder of how when we like, when we start having this sort of technology, oh, it's just out there, we'll get there. When you start having this sort of technology out there, it's used by stalkers, it's used by abusive exes, it's used by abusive parents. Um, and it's, it's a trickle down effect that not a lot of people think about in cybersecurity when you're working on an exploit or when you're working on something that could be used to spy on a person. So, okay, here we go. Um, Eva um, has a really great talk at the Objective C, well, Objective by the C conference. Um, hey Siri, find my ex, which is going over stalkerware and how it can be used. Well, stalkerware and things like air tags uh, can be used in intimate partner abuse and surveillance. So this is kind of exactly what I was talking about when I say that these sorts of spyware programs that are marketed towards protecting children um, are actually tech-enabled abuse. Mm -hmm. So I really like Eva's work in making uh, people understand uh, the way that the stalkerware is able to impact people because you know i i get i get questions yesterday literally my, my hairdresser was asking me how she could hack her uh you know her her boyfriend to find out whether or not he was up to something and my advice is always the same it's like if you suspect something then you probably already know you know like if you're willing to go through that process then like you you you, you probably know but a lot of people don't see it as any sort of violation or any sort of crossing of boundaries to just violate another person's privacy and start spying on them. So if you want to see this presentation, I think it's really good and you should understand what kind of impact this has on people. And also, um, Eva has the best slides I've ever seen. I'm so jealous of these. that I, pretty. And I immediately regret like many of the presentations that I've done and just like see how I could have done them better. So um, Eva's just great. Um, she really finds a lot of great stuff. I recommend following her on Twitter. Um, but yeah, the the flip side of this is uh, there is there are stalkerware companies that will gather up all this data. Like I said, maybe about your kid because you're like, ah, I don't trust my kid. I bet he's up to something. And then they leak the data, so they don't even bother to protect the information that they're harvesting on innocent mm -hmm. people. So like this is like if you're a kid whose parents are just really strict and crazy, and they start installing this on your phones, you could have all of your personal data leaked to the public um, who might not have your best interest at heart just because that third-party service isn't securing it properly.